Today we got a brand new foreign poster for Avengers Endgame that showcased a character, or rather armor, that we haven't seen thus far in promotional material. That armor is the Hulkbuster Mark II that we saw in Infinity War. In fact, if you take a close look, it's actually the Mark II. It's not an upgraded version of the armor, again, as we saw the Mark II as opposed to the Age of Ultron Mark I in Infinity War. However, this doesn't mean that the armor won't undergo severe changes over the course of Avengers Endgame, as I speculate that this armor will play a major role when concerning War Machine and various leaks we've gotten for that character. First off though, it is established now that the Hulkbuster Mark II will in fact be appearing in Avengers Endgame thanks to this foreign poster. However, I believe thanks to various LEGO leaks that we know that War Machine will build a Hulkbuster armor of his own, known as the Warbuster, or at least that's what the fans are calling it right now. Of course, as everyone remembers, the Hulkbuster Mark II was severely damaged at the end of Avengers Infinity War, with it even missing an arm. This leads me to believe that War Machine and Tony will build a new armor known as the Warbuster, an armor for War Machine to pilot, and this being the same armor that we see in all of the LEGO leaks for Avengers Endgame. Again, this echoes all the way back to Iron Man 2, where Rhodey took the Mark II and then added upgrades or various weaponry to it, so it would make sense that Rhodey would do the same with the Hulkbuster Mark II, again echoing all the way back to Iron Man 2. But nonetheless guys, here's the Hulkbuster from the poster, and now confirmation that the Hulkbuster Mark II will be appearing in Avengers Endgame. But what are your thoughts on this? And do you guys think that my theory is correct and that Rhodey will in fact make upgrades to it and make it the Hulkbuster that we see in the various leagues? Leave all of your thoughts on this in the comments down below. The giveaway for the Thanos Hot Toys figure continues. To enter, all you have to do is like this video, subscribe, turn on notifications, and tell me below who your favorite MCU villain is. Once you've done that, you've officially entered to win the Thanos Hot Toys figure giveaway. As always, my friends, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll do my best to keep you up if we get new news on Endgame today, subscribe to join our team and have a great day.